everybody, this is Money Mom. Happy 4th of July. I hope everyone's having a blessed and wonderful day. I'm going to make an easy 4th of July mug cake. A lot of times, many people don't want to have a lot of desserts, you know, sitting around the house because they're tempted. What's great about this is this is a portion. Heck, you could even have two people share this. So I'm going to show you very briefly how to make this in a microwave in about a minute and a half to two. So this, these are the ingredients. You need a mug, first of all. You need three tablespoons of sugar, and I've already pre-gone um, ahead and put these in the bowls to make this a quicker video. Three tablespoons of sugar, five tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to do this gingerly here so I don't spill it. Then it says two and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter. Well, I only had salted, so I will have to use, that'll have to do. So you pour that in, two and a half tablespoons of butter, five tablespoons of milk, then it calls for one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt. Now I put a little less than a pinch since the butter is salted. Then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. The great thing about mug cakes is kind of like a dump cake where you can just stir everything in. Then you incorporate it and stir it up together. I think I will get another spoon to be able to do that. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. This is, these are washed strawberries and blueberries. I am also to put that in, but I will first stir this up very briefly. So I hope everyone's doing well and having a frugal fun week. I will tell you my one frugal fun thing is a dear friend gave me this shirt. It wasn't working for her. She's taller than me and it was a bit short on her. So she blessed me with this shirt, which is wonderful. Okay, so this is all stirred up. And I'm going to incorporate the strawberries and blueberries in here. And I will show this to the camera in a minute what this looks like once it's all stirred up. And then I will heat it up for a minute and a half. So this is what it looks like, if you can kind of see that. Okay, and I put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. And my husband's going to get this taste it. It's supposed to taste spongy. Okay, so I'm going to probably put it for a little longer. This is an older microwave. It's from the 1980s. I also wanted to show you my toenails. I don't know if you can see them. Fourth of July toenails that I got. I got a pedicure with that. I love to do different things for the season. During Christmas I did um, a dreidel on one toe and a Christmas tree on the other. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off for now and be back with you in a minute and a half to show you the cake. Thanks everybody. See you in a minute. Hello, this is Money Mom again, and I didn't sh videotape this, but my husband looked at it and he goes, it looks ugly, and it doesn't look it's good. A little, it's a little mushy. It's a little bit mushy. I think I put too many strawberries. I'm not sure, guys. I follow recipes and sometimes, but it actually, it, it doesn't look bad, but let me show you my husband eat. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> Why is it everybody else can make things look pretty, but not me? <laughs> this is Dawn's special 4th of July mug cake. Eating this might keep you from eating other desserts because you'll be too scared to. My husband was scared to try it. He said it tasted okay. Does it taste okay, Al? Seriously? It actually tastes good. It actually it, tastes it's good. A little, it's a little mushy, but... It's a little bit mushy, guys, but I just thought I'd share. You never know what you're going to get on this channel, all. I love you and happy 4th. Bye-bye.